Hi everyone, this is presentation video for the new plugin that I have available on Marketplace, Unreal Engine. Um, currently the plugin is available on Unreal Engine 5 only, uh, but I'm planning on recompiling it to Unreal Engine 427 as well. Probably it's not gonna go any older than that. Um, so the plugin is basically treating about um, collision profiles and stuff like that. Um, it's basically it doesn't change any uh, logic of how they work. It just changes the way that you can view them or adds the way that you can view them. So first of all, uh, when you enable the plugin, that's usually somewhere here, uh, Smart Collision Profiles, that's the one. And then you just enable the plugin. Uh, but you probably already know that because you know stuff on Marketplace. So, um, so basically what happens here is um, in order to access the plugins features there are two ways first of all you can go to project settings and search for collision extension um, so this is your regular collisions that you always have and the plugin allows you to to look at them as well it's just it doesn't you know completely wipe them out they still work the same way um, but you can also access the collision extensions and it's basically the same thing but um, you are able to view it differently so let's say for example that you have some kind of um, uh, let's say for the for example here I've got the pickable item and I want the pick pickable item to overlap item picker which is like for example the player that can pick up the items and the pickable item is obviously item that can be picked and with the regular collisions, there is often uh, a tr problems with uh, figuring out why collisions don't work, why objects don't collide with each other, or why they overlap and they shouldn't. Um, and it's because uh, you have to take a look at this um, pickable item overlaps item picker, but if item picker has uh, that does not overlap pickable item that's not gonna work so it has to be set up the same way both in both profiles um, and it's usually just you know cumbersome to just go around and check every single one and see what how it reacts with the one this object how this react with the other object and so with the collision extensions first feature that I want to talk about is the grid here um, so basically the horizontal axis here those are the object and traces so basically this and and that um, so that's the list of the object types and trace types um, as you can see we got all of them over here and so basically what happens is you've got you can you can check um, w without going to other profiles or jumping around you can see that for example no collision with the visibility object it has like you get the legend here so it says ignore overlap or block so this one is ignoring that 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 and for example you're looking for our pickable item and you're going down here and you want to see if it's for example how it reacts to the let's say I don't know vehicle then you just go to pickable item and search for the vehicle as you can see when you hover over the items you got um, you've got them highlighted and it says pickable and vehicle so anywhere you go you can quickly take a look what um, what profile it is and what channel it is so you can basically do it that way and so it's easy for you now to take a look like for example pickable item with the pickable item and then or for example pickable item and item picker and we see that they overlap and then we can check for example item picker with the pickable item so the other way around and as you can see, they both have the same response, which means that they will work correctly. Um, and you don't have to jump around and take, uh, you know, uh, as, as you usually do with the presets here. You have to open this, check it, then open that and check it. Um, so you have everything on the table right here. Um, I can obviously scroll it right and left. You have a lot of objects that's just going to be handy. Um, and um, another feature of this grid is you can hide some of the columns to gain some space if you need to. Um, that's one thing. There you can also hide some of the 
the rows here. This is to also gain some space if you need to. Um, another feature of this is, for example, you basically can change those profile settings in here. So you can go, for example, to the collision or no collision or any anything really. Those are all buttons. So I can say that I want the item picker to with pickable item to ignore each other. So I'm changing to ignore. So every single time you click on this, it will go to the next state. So it's like ignore, overlap or block. So that's the features of the grid. Uh, or you can also change them by right clicking the button and just selecting whatever you want here. Um, so the second feature of this would be um, show, yeah, you can also highlight the, the channel names because those are profiles and obviously in Unreal Engine profiles have their object type assigned to them. You can also see what kind of object type they are, the profiles right here. You don't see it here because those are already the object types. So you can see, take a look at this like that. Um, so there is also another feature that uh, you can use. For example, you wanted to see what the blueprints in your project have world static uh, object type. You can just right click and sh do show references. It will freeze for a second. Don't worry about that. That's perfectly normal. Uh, the reason for this is because it has to load the blueprints to the memory which are usually not loaded by the editor um, so it will take a while uh, because it has to read the data inside of them see what kind of pro collision profile it has so that's why it takes a while but but there you go you've got some blueprints that contain this world static um, object type you see quite a lot you can go edit the blueprint if you want to directly uh, yeah, there is there is a bunch of stuff you can do, um, and so it also applies to the profiles. If I wanted to take a look, who is what kind of pawns I've got? I have no pawns uh, currently in the project. I'm using something different, so I don't know. Uh, overlap all. There's nothing. Probably this one has some. Yeah, as you can see, I have some characters that have some hitbox profile on them. Um, so that's it. That's that's pretty handy. You normally in Unreal Engine you cannot search uh, the profiles like that. So this is pretty handy. Um, another feature I wanted to talk about is the collision profiles, custom collision profiles. So you know how you can grab the, for example, um, static mesh, and you can have the custom profile over here. You can set up right here, and then just have it there. So this plugin disables this option and the reason for this is because usually from my experience the developers usually just create the custom profiles change some bits uh, some reaction to different profiles here they save it and forget it and then there's a bunch of collisions the custom collision profiles that are not tracked in the in the grid or they are not tracked in the presets here uh, because they are custom and then it's hard to track down the issues with the collision why this object doesn't collide with that and stuff and um, I just think it's about practice and I think a lot of people think that and and so this plugin is able to just disable that and so when you have some custom collision profiles already selected in your project and you launch the plugin you will see this it has a custom collision profile on this component that's why it says fix custom profile and now it's your responsibility to fix it properly because uh, it has the custom uh, profile here when you click on this it turns it into default as you can see you cannot select the custom anymore so it's your job to just take a look what profiles you had create one here and and um and assign it here it's just better practice and it will save you some trouble in the future when you have more types of objects and everything just falls apart um so yeah so that's one feature um you can i know that some people will still want this to be enabled so you can do it if you really want to i don't recommend it but you can actually do uh turn it true 
uh, in a in a collision extensions and it will say collision profiles enable disable change uh, require editor restart and that's true you have to restart the editor for this change to take up um, take effect um, so yeah um, you just if you really really want to you still use them you can do it I don't recommend it though uh, by default it's disabled um, another feature is find custom channels as I said it's a bug but practice and usually difficult to find those custom channels um, so this button will search for the all the blueprints in the project that have custom channels in them so as you can see I don't really use them uh, as I said but it's a bad practice so but still if you want to look around uh, for the custom channels in the project you can just click it and it will search for the blueprints that have them um, yeah and there's one more feature I wanted to talk about a uh, small thing but uh, usually usually in order to go to the collision settings you have to go to project settings go to collision stuff and and in this plug with this plugin you can just go to whatever you just set up your static or skeletal mesh or whatever and you will have the open collision settings this will give you this pop-up mm. so it's basically the same collision settings that you saw before before but the form is different it's a dockable um, thing here so you can dock it anywhere and have those collisions separately as a tab uh, which is pretty handy um, you can yeah you can pretty much dock it anywhere and so yeah so that's that's the thing with the collision profiles um, and I think that's all for now there is gonna be more features coming to this plugin there's gonna be another grid here available to see profile versus another profile so you can see how the two profiles work together that's the feature that I'm gonna be adding soon and the second feature that I'm gonna be adding is basically um, some information about the this what kind of objects this profile collides with I know you can see it here but I want to also create a kind of a little window where you can see what profiles this profile collides or collides or overlaps with and um, and the third feature that is also pending work is I want to have another search uh, tool here that will just instead of show like for example you go show references here um, you can you're gonna be able to do like show objects that block this profile or show objects that overlap this profile or something like that um, so there's gonna be more features like that coming to to this plugin in the future so yeah um that's pretty much it thanks for watching